Hello, welcome to our industrial maintenance video series. My name is Mario Bringhetto. I'm an industrial maintenance instructor at College of the Sequoias in Hadford, California. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps on how to perform a bend called a kick, and later I'll demonstrate the process. Many of you may be wondering what is a kick. A kick is a bend in a conduit of less than 90 degrees. You may need to utilize a kick when changing direction on the roof line of building. Step one of performing the kick is we need to select the appropriate bender for the type of conduit. Step two of performing the kick is we need to measure to the desired location from a known reference point. Step three when performing the kick is to make sure that the conduit is facing the right direction prior to the bend. For the fourth step, measure the bend to the bottom of the conduit. For the final step, make sure that the conduit is level prior to kicking it. So now moving on to the demonstration portion, I, what I've set up is an example of why you would need a kick. If you have a conduit laying flat, whether it's on plywood or anything else, and you need to tie it into a box, as you can see, there is an elevation difference that's needed so that the, the conduit will tie into the box. And now I'll show you how to do it. The first thing we need to do is measure how much of a kick do we need. So you need about seven eighths or so of an inch to the bottom of where the conduit's going to go in. So I know I need seven eighths to the bottom of the conduit. And now we're ready to bend. So the first thing we need to do is verify the conduit matches our bender. Once again, we're using half inch EMT conduit. So we got ourselves a half inch EMT bender. Now what you do to bend the kick of what you need, you go ahead and put it in to the shoe. I like to stand up on it so I can do a measured rise method. You try and make sure that the kick, the conduit is as level as possible. And we get ready to bend. Now with the conduit level, you apply good foot pressure and you get a 7 eighths of an inch rise in the conduit. And you measure to the bottom. If you're measuring to the bottom, measure to the bottom. If you're going to go to the top of the conduit, go to the top. Just don't mix or match the different uh, measurements. So as you can see, we now put a kick into our conduit. It lays flat on the table in this portion. And then you're high on this side to where you tie it into the box. So you're right at 7 eighths of an inch uh, above the ground or above the table. So now it's time to verify that the box will fit. slides right in the box. It lays flat here and you can see that it's kicked up and goes inside. So that's all we have for you today. This concludes our video set on conduit bending and technique and thanks for watching.